Barry is uh, a hitman who is trying to get away from that world by becoming an actor. Yeah. And the world will not let him yeah. do it. And it is just amazing. The show is truly amazing. You're great in it. Where did it come from? Why did you choose this as a show for you to do? Well, Bill? when after I had finished Saturday Night Live, I moved to L.A. and I just took a bunch of meetings and I went into HBO and they said, well, what do you want to do? And I, 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 love, I love HBO. I'd love to do a show with you guys. And do you have any idea? And I was like, no. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I don't have an idea. Right. And they said, well, is there anybody you like? And I had, and my agent, he reps uh, Alec Berg. Mm -hmm. And Alec Berg and I had met uh, briefly. And I was like, well, I love Alec Berg. And they said, well, yeah, great. Well, why don't you get together with him? So we sat down. He was writing Silicon Valley. Right. And we would meet for breakfast. Fresh off of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Fred, he by did two. Curb. And then he was doing Silicon Valley. Right. And so... Before he would go in the writer's room of Silicon Valley, once a week, he would have breakfast with me down the street from the writer's room, and we would talk ideas. And after about a month and a half, we were getting frustrated because everything was kind of slice of life. And I go, well, I'd like to have something that has like real stakes to it. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, the biggest stakes are life and death. And I said, what if I played a hitman? And Alec went, ugh, no, I hate hitman. He's like, there's more. He's, he said, hitman's like dog catcher. It's like... It's like a thing that's in movies more than they are in real life. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Sure. So he was like, no, nah, let's not do Hitman. And then I was like, no, but it's going to be me. And he was like, oh, that could be funny if it's you as like a, you know, right. like you being yourself. And uh, and then very quickly we thought, what if um, he was an act? He wanted to be an actor. I don't know why. <laughs> we were like, what if he took an acting class to like learn how to be a human being? Right. Because all this murder. And so we were kind of like, oh, what if like, you know, the William Money from Unforgiven or Travis Bickle tried to find salvation and redemption through the people in Waiting for Guffman. What if he got with those people and tried to learn how to <laughs> behave again because all these years of murdering people and what it's done to his soul and right. everything. And, and what if he can, that was his therapy and a way of um, feeling that he could be somehow redeemed through art. Well, I was, I was going to ask you who who your character, I guess, was based on in previous pop culture worlds. And so Willie Money, who's yeah. Clint Eastwood from Unforgiven, which to yeah. me is like the perfect Western. And yeah. I know that for old school Western people might hear that and think otherwise. No, but I love that movie. Alec and I went and saw it in the theater while we were writing the no first kidding. season. Yeah, it played, they, they played it again um, at the IPIC in Westwood. And we got to go. And we went, we walked out and we we're like, yeah, I think we could do that. But with a lot of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's do that tone, but with jokes. And, and, um, so yeah. And especially this season, if you liked, you know, tax driver, that, that tax driver unforgiven thing is very evident through this season, you know, that, comparison or whatever well the comparison i have i got bill hader here on the rich eisen show the comparison it for me is walter white yeah from breaking bad yeah and, and and not because it's a nice guy who breaks bad because of circumstances it's because on occasion i'm watching your character I'm rooting for you one minute, and the next minute I am just like this bastard. I can't. You yeah, know, like, no, he's I, awful guy. He, yeah. Right, he does some awful yeah. things. That when it comes to it, like where's the nice guy, the nice sensibility of the guy who wants to get out of that world, yeah. but keeps on making choices to stay in it, even though sometimes the choices are so awful. Yeah, we it's, were talking about that, where it was the Breaking Good type thing, like breaking, a bad guy exactly. trying to be good. Right. And, yeah, that was one. Someone said that in an article, and I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, but definitely Breaking Bad, I was a big fan of that show, like the, the idea of trying to keep two worlds separate. And, right. But this guy thinking, oh, what if, is this all I'm good at? Mm -hmm. You know, where, you know, a lot of those shows, uh, what I loved about Breaking Bad and Sopranos, it was almost like this wish fulfillment of, like, you could relate so well to these people. Right. You could relate to them and then be like, what if? you know, I was in a dead-end job and everything, and, I, you know, what if I just became a drug dealer and made a bunch of money and, you know, that idea. Mm -hmm. And I and Alec and I talked about that, and I go, what? Yeah, I've seen that, and it's been done so well. well. You know, this could be, like, the opposite of that, of a guy who's so bad that he's trying to get in tune and find some sort of redemption. Another per the, another Scorsese movie we talked about was um, Raging Bull, you know. It's like that 
feeling of redemption of like this guy who's just he's not a very good guy right you know trying to find some sort of hope or glimmer and and of and and and, and the, the idea that he's uh very self-aware of how bad he is you know and trying to you know uh, just to, like I, you know, this idea that I was put on this earth to kill people. Right. Like, the only thing I'm good at is killing people. Like the only thing I'm naturally good at is that. I, I hope that's not it. That's not my lot in life. So it's a comedy. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> it's hilarious. I know. It is. For more of the Rich Eisen show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen show app.